Historians have argued that modernism began in the late 19th century when the belief in the age-old traditional beliefs began to yield to the practical and ideological understanding of human society. Influential in the early days of modernism were the theories of Sigmund Freud. Central to Freud's thinking is the idea of the primacy of the unconscious mind in mental life. According to this theory, all subjective reality was based on the play of basic drives and instincts through which the outside world was perceived. Freud's description of subjective states involved an unconscious mind full of primal impulses and counterbalancing self-imposed restrictions derived from social values. Friedrich Nietzsche was another major precursor of modernism with a philosophy in which psychological drives, specifically the will to power, was of central importance. Nietzsche often identified life itself with will to power, that is, with an instinct for growth and durability. Henry Bergson, on the other hand, emphasize the difference between scientific and the direct subjective human experience of time. His work on time and consciousness had a great influence on the 20th century novelists. Also important in Bergson's philosophy was the idea of Elan Vital, the life force which brings about the creative evolution of everything. Modernism continued its movement into the early 20th century, mainly in Germany, in reaction to the dehumanizing effect of industrialization and the growth of cities. This period and its social environment renders the movement its distance to prevalent traditions and cultural institutions as a whole. Model on Marx and Engels' famous Communist Manifesto, Modernism Manifestos put forward ideas that were meant to provoke and to gather followers. The mainstream modernism in the first decade of the 20th century was still inclined towards a faith in progress and liberal optimism. In 1913, modernism increasingly saw traditional social arrangements as hindering progress and was recasting their thought as revolutionary, inclining to engage in overthrowing rather than enlightening society. With the First World War of 1914 to 1918 and the Russian Revolution in 1917, the world was drastically changed. Doubt was casted on the beliefs and institutions of the past. The view that mankind was making steady moral progress now seemed ridiculous in the face of the senseless slaughter. More modernists saw themselves as part of the revolutionary culture that included political revolution. After the 1917 revolution, there was a burgeoning of new and unusual cultural activity. Many rejected conventional politics, believing that a revolution of political consciousness had greater importance than a change in political structures. By 1930, modernism began to influence mainstream culture, so that, for example, the New Yorker magazine began publishing work influenced by modernism by young writers and humorists. A strong influence at this time was Marxism. After the generally primitivistic aspect of pre-World War I, many modernists precluded any attachment to merely political solutions by rejecting any popular solutions to modern problems. The rise of fascism and the Great Depression and the march to war helped to radicalize a generation.
Modernists are those who socially seek progressive trend of thought that affirms the power of human beings to create, improve and reshape the environment with the aid of practical experimentation, scientific knowledge or technology. From this perspective, modernism encouraged the re-examination of every aspect of existence with the goal of finding that which was holding back progress and replacing it with new ways of reaching the same end. The works of diverse thinkers spanning the period from Friedrich Nietzsche to Samuel Beckett. Modernists sought to restore a sense of sublime order and purpose to the contemporary world thereby counteracting the perceived erosion of any sacred canopy under the secularizing impact of modernity. This gives rise to the phenomena such as psychoanalysis, eugenics, utopianism and progressive institutions such as Bolshevism. All embody bits to access a supra-personal experience of reality in which individuals believed they could transcend their own mortality and eventually that they had ceased to be victims of history to become instead its creators. With this in mind, we understand how modernism has close affinity to new socialistic ideology developed out of romanticism's revolt against the effects of the Industrial Revolution and bourgeois values. The ground motive of modernism began with criticism of the 19th century bourgeois social order and its worldview to be what it is in the contemporary society. <laughs>